Yeah, it's not YouTube. Before I go into this video about these right here, please hit the bell icon and click all notifications to subscribe to my channel. That way you can know when I'm doing more content. I'm going to be producing some more content soon. But right now I wanted to talk about it's my intro to pros and cons of natural grain. Freeform. This video is just mainly to uh, it's mainly to talk to you about the pros and cons of a natural grain, the pros and cons of a free form. Not that in any form is bad. Natural grain will last a long time if you take care of it properly. Free form will last you a long time if you take care of it properly. But in my opinion, you have to watch the video to see which one. I prefer, actually I don't prefer any, but if you want to know a little hint hint, I actually prefer the freeform. Although the freeform can be a little challenging to find them straight. Hi YouTube. Today in this video I want to talk about both cons. A natural grain and a freeform. Today's video I want to talk about those because I want you to know what you're getting when you chip out these ones. So. so let's talk first about the pros and cons for the natural grain walking stick. I'll talk about the pros first. Number one, they're really straight. Number two, they suck up the weight really fast. Number three, they're easy to and gets the sun from the rain. And they look more natural and more in tune with nature. They just they're more in tune with nature. They're gonna be really good to do. So they got a nice good grip to them. Feels like you just found something in nature which it is from nature. So those are the pros of now let's talk about the cons of a free form of a natural grain walking stick. Con number one, they're not water resistant, they're not scuff resistant, and the sun beats on them. They're not, they have, you know, they have no protection from the sun. So, that's one little con about free form. <laughs> about one. One little con. Con. Free form what? It's hard to find them straight. That's the only con. Really? So why did I do this video about pros and cons of a natural grain and a free form? Well, it gives you an idea of what you might want. Granted, free form, they take time to dry. That's no con, though. As long as you put beeswax on the end and melt the wax on the end, Grains of, in grains of the free form, it'll be just fine. Natural grain, well, it's e you can go and source it online. They're pretty much know what you're getting. It's guaranteed to be straight. Um, they're relatively easy to repair, although you lose wood when you repair it a little bit. But free form, on the other hand, they're a lot more easy to repair. The bark gives you a lot more ample amount of protection, and it makes the wood. It protects it from many elements out there, so that's why a lot of times I leave a lot of the bark on the wood. Most of it, in fact, a lot of it I just leave on there. So, um, the biggest point of why I did this is to show you that there are some pros and cons of freeform, and there are pros and cons for natural grain. But, either way, they both last you a long time. Sticks, take care of them properly and not too clumsy. 
last you a long time. So, if you enjoyed this, take care, God bless.